Hey guys, I'm back and it is one of my favorite times of the month and it's early this month. I mean earlier than normal. Um, number one, there's some music in the background and I apologize. I'm just not getting close enough to turn it off. But bonus points to anybody who identifies what's going on back there. Um, so here's a little pita hair. Aw, little pita hair. Um, so this is this is going gear. The EDC club it feels extra big this month. Um, so yeah, it's earlier than you normally it comes towards the end of the month. So I'm I'm really excited. So I love this knife, the black and jade combination. Um, so yeah, we've got the going gear EDC club. It is the 15th of June, which is pretty good. I'm I'm happy. Just got it out of the mailbox. Was not expecting it. Is that? That's awesome. That is awesome. That's awesome. Um, heard we left your med kit out last month. Sorry. I told you they would make good. I knew they would make... See, guys, I have every... That's what I'm talking about. The One of the reasons I love going gear is... I got... They sent me three of them. Because I told you they would make good on this. Didn't I say? Didn't I say? That they would make good? You can give some of these away to your subscribers. They know who I am. Um, that's awesome. So guess what? We're going to give some of these away. They are... They are... It's... Listen, customer service is huge to me. And not only do they put together a great box. But um, when I did last month's unboxing, I said... I said, I do not have my Frontline Medical Defense Adventure Mini EDC. I know EDC Club though, they're very dependable. If an item is missing, they will get it. And I was not wrong. They are awesome dudes uh, over there in Woodstock, Georgia. So um, if you have any doubts as to how they carry out business, carry on business, take care of business, look at this. Not one that was missing from the box, but uh, three with them even saying, hey, give these away to your subs. They are awesome. So guess what? We've got uh, stuff for the next summer giveaway going on. By the way, this is a great segue. Thanks guys to make sure you are subscribed and turn on your notifications and um, you know, do all the commenting and liking and stuff because you wanna be involved in all the giveaways, right? So anyway, why do I love this box? I love this box because we get to shift from, there you are, you're putting hair on stuff and now you're making an appearance. That's cool. They like you better than me. It's true. Are you sniffing? Is it good? Oh, you're verifying the contents of the medical? Why do you always look like you have dandruff on camera? I gotta stop letting you go near the backyard. Okay, I want everybody to know that I you can't see it, but I now have a cat sitting directly in my lap. Sitting, uh, what's the new politically correct way? Crisscross applesauce? Sitting Indian style. That's the way it was when I was in school. And I have a cat sitting directly in my lap. So at any moment, I'm going to have to rotate 180 degrees and say, we have been expecting you, Mr. Bond. So I love this box, because not only do we get to change our mindset from a lot of the survival, kind of outdoorsy stuff that we're used to, but EDC, stuff you're gonna use, you know, day to day. And I have said it over and over, and I've showed you guys in some pocket dumps, I really do. This is some of the best money spent month to month, because I really do use stuff that comes in, that comes in this box all the time. Um, my favorite, it's big, but I, I honestly, every day, well, I don't get out much these days, as much as I used to, but this, um, the Ace Beanie 70, came in a, in a going gear box. This is my absolute favorite light. Um, I mean, that's just one example, because I always keep this handy. It's it, it, just great stuff. Um, and when I feel like money is being spent well, I love to share it with you guys. So of course, there's gonna be a link in the video description to going gear. And not only is, I always say this, not only do they have the EDC club, but they have just, they're a whole store. They have such cool stuff. And I say this every single time, cause I'm, you know, you gotta put the energy out into the universe. You gotta manifest, that's what they say. That, that exclusive Benchmade 940, they're gonna find a few in a crate in the basement one day and they're gonna put them back on the website and I'm gonna jump on it and buy it. I'm so upset that I didn't, that I didn't move on that. Beautiful C-Tech and whatever. Okay, let's get to the, you know guys don't care. Let's get to the box. Let's see what we've got for June in the Going Gear EBC Club. Tech accessories is cool. White, wow, look at this. We've just got a bunch of knives. We've got a 
wow, this is, I don't know what this is, but it's heavy. The Dune, I don't know, this is already going to not be my favorite, but it's so cool. This is a nice box. Um, there's an ant on my box, probably, probably because we have the little sugar ants coming from outside now because we hate them. Um, this is cool. All right, so this is the premium box. There's two levels. There's the premium, and then there's the standard. Um, so obviously the premium, you get more stuff, big, better stuff. Um, so we got two items in the premium. We got three items in the standard, and of course we will start in the standard and uh, work our way up. So starting at the bottom of the standard, we've got tech accessories, aluminum glow fob for $14.95. I think I have a few of these. Um, Embrite, Embrite is really good stuff. I've shown you Embrite before, and it is a very highly glowy thing. Is this, do I have? I do, I have one of these. You guys have seen this on my little field notebook. I, I once upon a time bought, um, so tech accessories makes these in titanium, aluminum, and I believe they had a steel one. And if I wasn't sitting in all this clutter from all my projects going on at once, I just had my notebook. <sighs> okay, so I swear, look on any video where you've seen my little green notebook, my little field notebook with my patch on it and everything. I actually have one of these on there right now, and this is really cool. So this is not, um, this is not uh, tritium. It, it needs to be charged to glow, but this Embrite stuff holds a glow for a really long time. And you can see, it, it, this is in daylight with a studio light right here, and you can, you can see the glow. If I make it a little darker, it really glows well, um, and it glows for a while. So I put it on my notebook because I, that's what I used to take in the field and stuff. Um, and at night in the field, it would be just enough to kind of, it, it was attached to the zipper. It was, a, you guys have seen it, right? It's, it's, you know, I've got a tab on it that says regular guy and then, and then a squadron patch on it. Um, I don't know where it is right now, but it's in several, it's in several videos. Um, but I, I have it attached to the zipper so that, you know, if when I'm sitting there at night and I've got, um, we're just doing various exercises and, you know, taking notes on whatever, it, it just shows me where it is. If I look away and I look at like a, screen or something, you know, on like a tablet or a, or a little, uh, like a tough book or something. I just figure out right where that thing is. The, it, these are good. You put them on gear, you put them on anything. And these things are damn near indestructible. Um, these things are really cool. And of course the aluminum ones are a little cheaper. The titanium ones are more expensive. Um, yes, you can take this out. There's a rubber O-ring in there that holds it in. There's, ugh. You can, this is a little hard to get out, but these things are, so it's got a, a key ring that you could put on it. And it's got a clip that you can put on it. Um, so you could attach it in various ways. These, these are, these are worth the money. I'm telling you right now. Um, I have four of them overall in various places. Well, three, I gave one away to someone because they're just, they're cool things to have. They really are cool things to have. Um, so. Yeah, awesome. Okay, next, the Kershaw Dune. Um, now, this is a long, skinny fixed blade. It's not really my thing. We might have seen this before. I don't know. I feel like maybe. I like the 1986, whatever, 1980 something version of Dune, not the new one that came out. Um, although there are some scenes in the new Dune this has nothing to do with the movie, I know. The new Dune that are closer to the book, but still I think the old Dune is a little close, I don't know, whatever. I just don't like Timothy Charlemagne or whatever the hell his name is. I think he played a terrible, um, never mind. sorry. Yeah, not thrilled about this one so much. Um, I, it's just so small, it's so small in my hand. I know there are people that would like this, uh, good old boy, 76, I'm looking at you. He's gonna love this. He loves these little fixed blades. He really does. Um, I just, I, you know, as a neck knife, super dangly. Like, have a metronome with this thing. Um, 
I know there are people that will love this. It, it, this is just not for me. So you know what? This is gonna go in a giveaway package with some medical stuff. Um, I suppose we should... Hmm, yeah. This is Kershaw's lower end. What do they say at $29.95? Um, 3.8 inch blade. It, it needs a little refining. And I'm not surprised, because this is, like I said, this is not Kershaw's finest work. I don't know. It, with a little bit, I mean, it wouldn't take much, a little bit of honing. Uh, this thing could be very sharp. Um, but like I said, there's a lot of people that like the small fixed blade stuff, so I'm not surprised it's in there. I personally am not one of them. I wouldn't want to carry this around, but if you guys would like to see this in, in the next, in a giveaway, let me know, and it will make it happen. We'll make it happen. It's, um... You know, the thing is, it does have kind of, for its size and weight, blade length is, is, is big, and I do like that, you know, the Tonto shape lets you get that contact with, with a surface, but it's just not for me. And, you know, I know I'm gonna hear a lot of people say that they like it, and they would, that they would carry it and stuff. That's cool. If it's for you, it's for you. Um, sorry, guys, I forgot to do the piles. So, like it, and yeah, kind of don't like it, but sure we'll find the people that do and then the next i've been wanting to see this because i don't know it a sub brand of best tech knives okay best tech makes some really good budget friendly knives best techman best techman ronin 5190 14c 28n okay that's the higher end mora sandvik i i say that in a couple unboxings i only say that to give you an idea of who else uses that steel um, there are two kind of two levels of Sandvik steel. Um, there's 12 C27 and there's 14 C28 and 14 C28 is kind of, it, it's not a giant leap in quality. Okay. Um, but it is the higher of, of, of the two. And, and, um, when it comes to stainless steel, that's what more you uses on their higher end pricier knives. So again, just to give you a reference. So the best Heckman Ronin, uh, it has, it says thick liners and G10 handles, spear point blade. Wow, these little ants, they're coming in from the window because it was raining and stuff. Um, and I gotta get little ant traps out there. Comes with a molded sheath. I'm reading the entire, I'm reading the wrong thing. I'm reading the Dune. Uh, <laughs> great combination of durability, edge retention, and ease of sharpening. And and 14C28 is, is a really good all around EDC kind of steel. Not like super high end, but very reliable. And it is what they said. I, this is such a shiny box. I can't get it open. Can't get it open is the knife guy equivalent of can't get it up. I just want you to know that. Yeah. So let's see. And it already, just looking at it, it kind of has family lines of best tech. Kind of, I could see how it is a best tech sort of brand. So we've got G10 all around, including the backspacer, which is nice. They didn't skimp and go plastic. Deep carry clip, good retention, but you know, not pocket shredding. You can you can get a little lift on there. I guess that's their little logo now for their pivot. That's nice. Not too much going on in terms of hardware all over. Fit and finish looks really good. Everything looks even all across. I think I see some skeletonization in the liners too. And whatever they their version of the access lock is, whatever they're calling it. Very nice action, and that is a nice blade, and those are beautiful grind lines. The weight is pretty good too. I like this choil right there, jimping right where it needs to be. It's actually a pretty, oh, wow. Oh, right out of the box. And you hear that, that's like in a, Affirmative, snappy. Not bad. I mean, for a first time seeing this from a brand, um, do I have, is it oily? A little bit, they all are. Pivot oil and stuff. I just don't want that oil to catch in the paper and give us a false return. Wow, oh, smooth. Damn. This is a pocket time worthy blade. I mean, and broken in right away. 
Nice. Nice. The Ronin. Yeah, nice piece. I mean, and like I said, best techs already are are affordable. They are not. They're they're well made. Yes, it, it's China, and I'm sure you know, on here somewhere it's going to tell us made in China. It's got a lifetime warranty. I don't know. It doesn't say it, but. Um, I mean, just the initial, it comes out of the box tuned. No blade play at all. It's just, I mean, it's ready to go. This is perfectly centered. Nice. This is gonna get carried around. This is gonna be my, for the rest of the day, rest of the week, into the weekend. I gotta, I gotta test this thing out. Um, they say spear point, I think it's, it's kind of a leaf shape, which, yeah, that's, I mean, a leaf shape is not necessarily a blade shape, but it, Kind of, yeah, definitely. It's good skeletonization in the in the liners. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but this thing is sweet. I absolutely will carry this. This is, I, I you know, I've never seen a Benchmade, the original Axis Lock knife, come out of the package this this tuned this finely. Um, I could get behind this 100%, and I'd like to see what else Best Techman has to offer. But this is uh, awesome, awesome. This definitely goes, and I like it. So that's, that's the, I mean, the standard box. And I think if you uh, only bought into the standard box this month, you're doing pretty good. Um, there is a warranty. Uh, they do repairs. They have an email address um, at a USA service center um, on this. Um, they will resharpen and exchange for a new pocket clip. I mean, Good service. That's awesome. And then they give you some contact and some care information too. Nice. Oh, cool. cool. I mean, yeah. And what is this? Is this? Uh, oh, and screws, screws and um, Omega Springs for. I'm sorry. I'm not even doing it on camera. Screws and Omega Springs for that lock. Good deal. Good deal. Nice. Got to show that to Dave. He's gonna be really into it. So that's the basic, that's the, the standard level. Let's go into the premium level. So we've got a Phoenix, people love Phoenix, and this is, I gotta say, I think this is kind of their take on the O-Pen. I shouldn't say that, I don't know which came first, honestly. Um, but uh, this is the T6, um, so it's a tactical pen. People often ask me, what, you know, they say, what the hell is a tactical pen? Okay, so a tactical pen, is a pen that can be used in uh, self-defense situation, uh, can be used to break some windows, um, has multi-use. Basically, it's a pen that has multiple uses. The T word is thrown around often. Um, I think that the T, tactical, the T word should be considered a four-letter word sometimes because it's, you know what? I have a video. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it in the corner. My my too much tactical uh, talking about how that word. There's a there is an actual there is an actual service on the job definition of tactical, but it has also become just a marketing term as well. It's the same as military grade is a is a marketing term, um, especially when you consider that everything the military buys has been produced uh, under contract by the lowest bidder possible. Uh, anyway, um, but a tactical pen is a pen that, that has multiple uses and especially uh, use in the, the self-defense or smashing of windows in such role. Um, so we use the, the term lightly and lovingly. We've got some extra O-rings in here and we've got all this information. The package is still heavy. Even after getting all that out, is there anything else in here? Or is it just heavy package? It's just big, heavy package. Okay. Yeah. So, automatic, contractive, tactical pen. So, rotates. Um, does it come charged? Let's see. I guess not. 
that's too bad. I guess I'm gonna have to uh, edit in a clip here. Welcome to the world's worst insert clip. Sorry, lighting sucks, but. So here's what's cool. It lets you know right away that it's charged. You get your little green light, okay? And if we hold it down, we get the various light levels. They're pretty good. I mean, and we've got the room, you know, the, the standard overhead room light on, and it's still pretty bright. And like it says in the instructions, hang on, I'll just turn it off for a second. We can uh, separate and, you know, you can actually like set this up if you wanted to use it separately, like maybe light up a writing area as you're going and use it separately. So that's, uh, it's a cool pen. I like it. And, um, I think I probably already said this in the main thing, but it's uh, pretty lightweight and it's, it's uh, you know, decent features and stuff. So uh, it has USB-C charging, um, up to 80 lumens, right? Does it have different different modes? It has a high, it has a medium and a low. 80 lumens, 20 lumens, one lumen. 40 minutes on high, two hours and 30 minutes on medium, and 26 hours on low. But this is what I'm talking about. When I say it's kind of like the O-Pen, it, uh, it has a light there so you can clip this on. Um, and then, you know, in a pocket and face forward. Oops. Do the standard writing test that I always do. It poops nicely. Actually, it feels good. Ballpoint. Poop. Um, it poops well. And I like the rotary thing. And so I guess to... Uh, you know, That is a wow. So are we gonna need? We're gonna need very specific refills for that, I guess. I have it plugged in right now. You can see it's got a red LED indicator. So we'll just let this go. Um, it's lighter than an O pen, and a little bit smaller. So that's you know interesting. Now the big ticket item is the White River knife and tool. This is either balsa or basswood. I don't know. It's lightweight, though. Um, I like it. Smells good. Um, so let's see. It has a 3-inch S35VN blade. Texture G10 handles. Weighs only 2.5 ounces. The M1 Backpacker Pro. It's a small family company with a passion for making premium American-made knives. That sounds good to me. Value of $150 hairs. nice you know you can tell it's like a little handmade box that's nice packaging is important um, let's see I'm gonna break the seal I don't know if I'm supposed to do any kind of rituals to prevent like ghosts from coming out and melting my face made in the USA guaranteed for life I love seeing a, a new a new brand Some literature. I mean, you can use the box for holding other stuff. It's a nice box. So, my little certificate here. And configuration examples of what to do with your uh, little loop. Just different ways to carry. And then instructions. S35BN, can't argue with that steel. And um, let's get this wood out of there. So we do have, we have the, this is kind of medium texture, orange G10. Dave's gonna love this. It's orange, I'm gonna have to tease him with it. Nice satin finish, you can see, I hope the tumble is coming out on camera. Have you guys figured out what's playing in the background yet? 
it's very comfortable. I mean, there is there is not a single possible hotspot on this. Even if you look in the choil, even that is nicely rounded. It's an incredibly comfortable, and they're jimping. Your hand just locks into this thing. Um, now, to me, and I'm not complaining. This is more of an outdoors kind of thing than an EDC knife, but I could listen. I'm not a, I, I'm I'm not an EDC fixed blade guy, so I'm gonna rely on all of you folks that EDC fixed blades to tell me is this is this a, a fixed blade that you would EDC because it is comfortable as hell. It is. I mean, and listen, I'm the one that complains about about small handles in a big hand, but this thing fits just per. I mean, just perfect, and I feel I feel like no discomfort at all this this choils just ground out perfectly um and the grip that i can get between the jimping there and having my hand in there i feel like it is just a per it is just it feels so good um i feel like i have total control over all of this and then to get perfect control over the tip right there i mean it is a great design. Oh. That is so smooth. You can get tiny little cuts. It feels so good cutting. I would love to... I mean, this is something that... I would carry this camping i would carry this on a hike i would carry this all it just it feels so good i mean the the comfort level on the handle is great i could see this blade on a folder and and carrying it but it is it is a super comfortable knife it locks really well into the sheath um, now i'm just wondering if you could i mean because so this is just I imagine that using this on a belt, it would, it could leave some wiggle room. You know what I mean? Um, I could also see how you could strap it to some gear or whatever. I wonder if you could replace this with another kind of, what I'm saying, what I'm thinking is you have very limited holes for attaching other stuff. I'm wondering if you could replace this with another kind of clip or another loop if you wanted to. Cause like, like I said, depending on the belt you're wearing or the straps you're using, I could see how this could be a little wiggly and you might not want that um but other than that i mean again so i talk about this often when you look at the value of these kinds of boxes some some of the value is you look at money in to, to money out value of the stuff you get um there's the the surprise factor the fun factor of opening it but one of the big values that I look at in these subscription boxes is the value of finding things, discovering things you might not otherwise get your hands on. And this is a great example. I would never, I, I doubt I would ever get my hands on this knife otherwise. I probably wouldn't have bought it, probably wouldn't even been looking at it. Here's a feather from a down blanket. Um, but here I am getting my hands on it and finding out that this is a, and a, this is a great knife. Um, you know, and first first look, of course, I haven't taken it out and doing anything, but it's it comes out of the box super sharp. It's super comfortable. I love the design, and I, I probably would never have gotten my hands on it if it didn't come in one of these boxes. And you know, awesome way to go going gear for for you know finding this knife and putting it. I mean, two great knives in the box this month. Um, Another one that I, I might have, you know what? So I might have found this. I, and, I, and I probably, if I had seen this, you know, on Amazon, just cruising around, I probably would have tried it. I probably would have would have tried that. Um, but this, I absolutely, I don't think I ever would have wandered into it. Um, and so that's another one of the values of the subscription boxes is the opportunity to discover stuff. So that is just awesome. Um, and you know money well spent money well spent um and i love go i just love the edc club because there's always stuff like so there's in this box i'm absolutely going to use this and if i don't the boys will okay this knife is is 100 going to get pocket time and i'm going to carry it and I, I have a feeling i'm really going to like it you guys are going to see it on the channel this knife 
I'm not a fixed blade dude, but this knife, I'm gonna carry it and I'm gonna use it. You are gonna see it on the channel. You're gonna see this carried around. This pen, okay, I have a few different EDC, pen, um, you know, tactical EDC pens, but I'm gonna give I'm gonna give this one a shot. I'm gonna give it a run for its money. Uh, we're gonna check it out. And um, we've got, they made good on the med kit. Can't argue with it. And, and so I'm gonna put this in there. And we've got, and they gave two more to give away because they're awesome because they have such good customer service. They're awesome dudes, um, and they have a great store and great customer service. So this box is a, is just a, I mean, I can't speak highly enough about it. From the from the first time I ever, I ever ordered one, um, this box has been awesome. And I highly recommend if you don't already, um, if you haven't already checked out their website, go check out their website and see everything they have to, to, to offer. This is one of my, like of the, the top favorite subscriptions, this is one of my top favorite subscriptions. I cannot say enough good things about it. Um, but now that I have babbled about it, like a little fangirl, um, you tell me guys, what do you think of, number one, the EDC club as a whole, but what do you think about this month? I think this is a great month. I'm really happy. I'm really happy. Um, two awesome knives. Um, you guys might not be as excited about this as I am, but this is, I. I have so much fun with these. They're they're really cool. Um, this pen. I, the only thing I'm not super excited about is is the Kershaw. But I'm sure that if we give it away on the channel, we'll find somebody that's that is super excited about it. So, what do you guys think? What are your thoughts? Favorite items, least favorite items. Um, you know, your good month. I think it's a good month. I think it's a great month. And I'm super excited that we got it a little earlier than usual. That that makes me really happy because normally I, I think with the shipping cycle, we see it towards the end of the month. It's great that we see it early. Um, I mean, number one, so I get the bot that I can get the video up early. But also, oh man, I just I'm impatient. So I'm really happy. So thanks guys. I'm, I'm, I'm I hope you you guys are as excited this month as I am. Um, you're definitely gonna see these in my hands on the channel again, and you know might do a follow-up on some items but i'm really curious to see what all of your thoughts are um and you know where you're at with this so thanks guys check out the link to going gear um and don't forget to uh to do all your liking and subscribing stuff for me as a personal favor to me and Peter kitty cat remember that you guys are all absolutely awesome i appreciate every single one of you and i'll be back again real soon